after spotting Robbie Cummings' narrowboat the Naughty Lass in a previous episode, we catch up with him again in Kidderminster. After hearing he'd been having some trouble with his inverter, we go over to his boat to see if we can help. We left Kimver in the last episode and made our way towards Kidderminster. On the way we went through Cookley Tunnel and also discovered a cave near the lock. While it was great to see so many other boats on the canal, we did find social distancing difficult at one of the locks that we went through. So good morning everybody. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird morning because I've actually got a pickup Bam Bam and uh, we're off to Robbie Cummings house. And the reason that is, is because a few days ago, I kind of like got starstruck. And this is what happened when I saw his boat. Robbie Cummings boat. Recognise that boat anywhere. That's crazy, I didn't even know he was parked up here. Exciting. Very exciting. This is what happened when he drove past my boat. But it's so, and it actually is. It's Robbie Cummings. Go right past my boat. Have a good day, bud. Sorry, dude, sorry to bombard you with the camera. And then, when I actually stopped bombarding him with the camera, um, I offered him a bit of help with his inverter, because of course Bam Bam is able to help him out with that. So, we're just going to go down to his now and have a look at his inverter. It was getting late on yesterday and Bam Bam had to drive all the way down to us so we could sort this out. But, yeah, we're going to go down there now, so I'll show you. Right, everybody, so we are here at his boat. I do not think it's right to be recording in somebody else's boat, especially when they're not editing it. So I will record the the inverter and the work we do, but I won't be recording in his boat or anything like that for any of you, because if you want to see his boat, you've probably already seen his boat and you probably already follow him, but you should follow him. So yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Naughty Lass. I literally just said to everybody, I was like, you can go follow him, but you probably already do. Before they went in, Robbie did say to Dan that it would be fine to record, so we were able to get some really good footage, which we hope you will enjoy. Debris ECO. Yeah. 300 watt inverter. 300 watt inverter. Inverters as well. So yeah, what happened, what happened was, right, um, yeah, something got plugged in that shouldn't have been plugged in and it's overloaded it I think. Right. It has that warning so a sound that goes beep and then it just crashes. Um, and that won't turn on again so. Right. Does it come off the wall at all? Yeah obviously only if you unscrew it all. Oh, yeah. You can unplug the bit at the top if that helps yeah. but. Not so you, what you'd like to do is to look for a fuse in it. Oh, okay, and yeah. Fingers crossed if there's a fuse in it. People in okay, different inflection rates. I think this is the right one. <laughs> it's 20. First things first, let's check we've got actually something coming in. See if we've got measurements on here. We don't plug it in. Okay, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the it's trickiest thing about multimeters. Plus, when you've got the mask, yeah, it's just digging up. Oh it's my goodness, yeah. We're not, we're not getting anything, are we, at the moment? No. Got nothing. Nothing at all. Ah, could be good news. Nothing. Nothing at all. Right. Not even a zero. So put it to our arms. And uh, oh, hang on. Okay. So. Well, the meter's not working. No. Why? I'll get the other one. Oh, yeah, if you're dead behind. Sorry about this. Is it the battery inside? Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, the, ba the battery's brand new and yeah. it's been off the whole time. I think that's a tough meter, Dan. You're getting nothing from that. Getting nothing from there. Nothing. Let's give it another good poke. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Right, we'll set that to ends. So it could still be a stroke of luck. Does the switch have to be on then? I mean, I, no, you, I suppose all you're te all testing is if something's going through it. Going yeah. Going through it, isn't it? Beep testing. Oh, yeah. We worked on the batteries last week, but... Um, <laughs> yeah, let's test it on something we know is... Yeah. Got 12 volts. Well, the fridge is on. Um, yeah. That's got power going through it. I don't know if you can... The fridge has got power. Get to the... Oh, uh, great. Yeah, yeah. And now we can... At least check the meter. Bad for five year old batteries, isn't it? Really? No, that's actually <laughs> really good. Yeah. Another of someone would do it on this. Yes, of course. Yeah, okay. Let's get in there with There's nothing coming out of it now. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Well, we might be in luck. Yeah? Let's get this traced back. Bam Bam figured out the issue and decided we needed to change the fuse, but where on earth were we going to get one of them from? Yeah. I'm a genius. <laughs> so, so far, Bam Bam and me have just changed the fuse and just to see what that does. Yep. It says it's just coming at 49. So, Bam Bam's a genius and he's got it working. <laughs> what was that's, that? That's off, and now. There we go. That should be on. Yep, it's Green still back on. Showing. Green light showing. Right, guys. Sorted, sorted, sorted. Sort right, yeah. Brilliant. Who's the, who's the screwdriver for the meters? Now their video, when we went through replacing the batteries with three videos in a row, I did the middle one, which goes into cable calculation, battery circuits, how to calculate size of